The first few weeks after giving birth, it's this feeling of being underwater. Every single thing, it's a fear that this baby is sick, is gonna die. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a video producer and I make a lot of content for YouTube and I had postpartum depression and anxiety. I think for a lot of moms, it's a very drastic mood change when you have your baby. There's a lot of hormones going on and the placenta pops out and that thing's got a crap ton of hormones in it. You just go from being high adrenaline, everything to like really low down. I think almost every mom feels that change after they have their baby. Postpartum depression and anxiety is hard to pin down. It could be addressed with medication, it could be addressed with therapy, but the important thing is that you get help. I had signs of depression and anxiety before I had my baby. I had been medicated in my 20s for both depression and anxiety at different points. I actually went to a doctor just for like a sick visit, like I had bronchitis or something. My doctor asked me a bunch of questions and could tell that I was extremely depressed. She actually started with prescribing me medicine. Then I started to see a psychiatrist and a therapist to continue care. That was huge for me. I was surprised when I found out I was pregnant. I was very nervous when I was pregnant because I started out living with my parents and it was and still is the pandemic but i was definitely very excited and actually hormonally pregnancy was pretty good for me there's a lot of things about being pregnant that aren't so great but i felt more balanced and i felt less anxious than i ever had in my life i had no idea how hormones would affect my body. And I think that should have maybe been the first sign that like, you know, things can really vacillate wildly. Like it could have been a warning sign to me, really. The birth happened, I had the baby. That's the nicest way I can put the birth. I did not have a pleasant birth. The baby was late, I was induced. His heart rate dropped, it was very scary. I ended up getting a c-section and honestly it was a really horrible experience it's still a trauma that i feel like i'm working out i think it really affected my postpartum it set me off kind of feeling this loss of control holding the baby it felt surreal i know that there are some moms that feel like an instant connection other moms might feel a little like what is this weird thing i, I think i landed somewhere in the middle I had a lot of trouble showing excitement or happiness early on. My husband at one point asked me, do you even like the baby? And I didn't know what to say because I, I thought I liked the baby. I think with moms, there's a lot of shame around how you might feel initially when you see your baby. And that can, I think, affect things later on as well. Before I was having the baby, I was like Instagram story and I was putting everything up. I was sharing every moment. And then like once, you know, everything went downhill and the baby came out and I just felt awful. Like I just completely shut down. If people wanted to know the baby existed, they would have had to reach out to my husband because I wasn't responding. The first few weeks after giving birth, it's this feeling of being underwater, being overwhelmed. Like there's so much that you have to quickly learn and do and you have to keep this thing alive. But then also I'm looking at my body. I don't recognize it. I feel awful. I'm exhausted. I'm depressed. It's overwhelming. I was pretty constantly crying after I had the baby. You're all suddenly not sleeping, but your body still has a lot of adrenaline because you're afraid this thing's gonna die. You're like in a constant state of alert, but also a constant state of wanting to sleep. I had my family come over the next day after I came home with the baby. I couldn't handle it. I didn't want anybody to hold the baby really. Like I didn't really trust anybody. I feel bad saying this, but I had a lot of anxiety even around my husband holding the baby. I know he wasn't gonna like hurt the baby. He's a very good dad, but I still was afraid of that happening. Looking back, like I know it's not quite rational, but my brain wasn't even like making it all the way to a rational thought. Every single little thing was just 
blown big out of proportion for me. Is the baby hot? Is the baby cold? You know, if they're cold, I can put a blanket on, but then there's the saying, cold babies cry, hot babies die. I'll better err on the side of cold. Maybe my baby needs to be in the hospital right now. Maybe I need to go to the doctor. I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm so tired, but I'm laying in bed, doom scrolling. I'm looking at all this crap on the internet, WebMD, about like the tiniest thing that could be wrong with my baby instead of sleeping, which I desperately need to do. I think anybody who has a baby during the pandemic knows it's a unique experience. The pandemic gave a lot of easy rationale for somebody who's more likely to have anxiety or depression. So in some ways it made a lot of that tougher. It made it harder to come out of the depression and anxiety. There are some real anxieties around the pandemic, but it was beyond that for me. It was hard for me to put the baby in the car. I think I drove once alone with the baby in the car and then I was, I couldn't do it. I also didn't try to talk to friends for a while. Like my husband actually had to like arrange a friend to come over at one point. I just couldn't handle the thought of it. I didn't, I didn't want to deal with any of it. Newborns cry a lot and you don't always know why. I couldn't handle my kid crying and I still am a little like that. And to not be able to handle something that happens constantly, like every day, it's not a sustainable situation. Having a newborn is like having a dull, slow pain because you don't have to do much. It's very boring, but also you have to watch them and constantly be vigilant in case they die. Maternity leave, I know I needed the recovery and I needed things to be slow, but it also is tough mentally when things slow down that much. When my maternity leave, ended and I went back to work, I really started to go into a deep depression. I felt very listless and lost. Working in a creative field where you've got to come up with ideas, I felt so blank and I think the depression and kind of like a numbness overtook me. I was really having trouble accomplishing anything at all. And several times my husband would be like, are you gonna get fired? Like, do you want to get fired? Because it doesn't feel like you're doing enough work. He was right. It was horrible having no motivation. I couldn't do it. It's also as hard because it's like there's a baby over there. It didn't help with my focus, let's say. I felt really bad about myself. Not only do you have all this extra weight, but like you look different. There's extra skin, you've got stretch marks. All that stuff really drops your self-esteem. That did not help with the depression either. And I just thought maybe this was normal. And I remember I reached out to kind of HR, I reached out to like a career counselor to kind of get advice and try to kick myself into gear, but it wasn't really helping. And then I found out that I had postpartum thyroiditis. Around this time, I had a standard follow-up appointment with my endocrinologist. And that's when with the blood draw, it showed up that my thyroid hormone was super out of whack, stuff started to make sense. Finally, I was getting some answers and I was gonna be able to address the root issue of my depression and anxiety. At that point, I you know, saw a doctor, I had medication adjusted and everything. Even then, it wasn't perfect. I still needed more adjustments after that, but it is amazing how much better I feel after I address that root cause for me. I only recently started feeling like myself again. Starting to care more about my job, feeling busy, feeling comfortable being separated from the baby and not being so worried all the time. That's been really freeing for me. And also feeling more comfortable in my body. My body is very different than it was before I got pregnant, but that body didn't make a baby, so I think this body's more impressive. Feeling more like myself, able to exercise more, walk more. I started doing my book club again, which is great because I'm interacting with friends and also reading content that isn't all sad baby doom scrolling. That feels much better. I've started talking to moms that are in similar situations. It feels good to talk to adults, but also adults who know what you're going through. I want new parents to know having a baby isn't all rainbows and sparkles when you start. It's really tough. And it's not just tough because you're dealing with a little sleep and trying to keep a baby alive. It's tough because of what's happening in your body, that all the hormones are out and you are so changed. Yeah, you pay attention to the baby, but pay attention to yourself too and get help for yourself if you need it, whether that's medication, therapy, 
or just talking to someone. That's probably the best thing I did for myself and for my baby, was to take care of myself.